morning. <laughs> All right, in other news, President Trump scores a victory in Congress. A Republican plan to make the most dramatic changes to the tax code in more than three decades has cleared its first big hurdle. The House passed its version, and a Senate committee approved its plan. CBS4's Mola Lenghi reports from Capitol Hill. House Republicans celebrated passage of their tax overhaul plan. The measure slashes the corporate tax rate, simplifies the tax code, and doubles the standard deduction. We basically say, keep your money in the first place. It's your money. Do what you want with it. Every Democrat voted no. This tax scam won't create jobs. It won't raise wages. It will only fill the coffers of the donors and the fat cats. A handful of Republicans opposed to erasing deductions for state and local taxes also voted no. You're taking more money from a place like New York in order to pay for deeper tax cuts elsewhere. President Trump, who wants a tax reform bill on his desk by the end of the year, made a trip to Capitol Hill to rally the troops ahead of the vote. The tax is going really well. Thank you very much. But getting a tax bill passed in the Senate is starting to look like a bigger challenge. Republicans there can only afford to lose two votes. I wouldn't vote for this Senate version, bottom line. Other Republicans have not yet said how they'll vote, but Vice President Mike Pence, who can break ties in the Senate, told the Tax Foundation gathering Thursday night that the proposed tax reform is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. One that'll usher in, we believe, a new era, a new era of American prosperity and deliver what the president likes to call a middle-class miracle. Democrats see it as a bad deal for the middle class. No matter how you cut this, this bill is about trickle-down economics. The Senate Finance Committee approved its version of the plan straight along party lines. Mola Lenghi, CBS News, Capitol Hill. The measure now goes to the Senate floor for consideration. Majority Leader Mitch McConnell said he's aiming to take it up a week after Thanksgiving.